Hello, I am the Greek Geek because I am Greek and indeed a geek. And I know I am extremely late with this review. I swear I'm going to get back on track sometime soon, but I don't care if I get 10 views on this video, I'm doing it anyway. I'm just kidding, please like me. I really enjoyed seeing all three of the main characters from the previous movies all together in one movie. It's kind of its own Avengers in its own right, just crossing over these heroes that have been set up over the years. Samuel L. Jackson, Bruce Willis and James give that man an Oscar. McAvoy all do a fantastic job. They do top-notch acting. They are phenomenal. But when I originally watched the movie, I thought Bruce Willis was being a bit bland. And then I thought back to how he was in, in Unbreakable and I thought his Character is kind of a um, stoic, quite quiet character. So when after I thought about that, I thought Bruce Willis did a really good job. He kind of is, his character, David Dunn, is kind of pushed off to the side for most of the movie. I think that more of the focus is given to the Horde and Mr. Glass. And it was fantastic seeing these characters interact with each other and play off of each other and disagree with each other and actually fight each other. It was really enjoyable as well to see Mr. Glass manipulate and anticipate everyone's moves and try and get what he wants just using his mind. M. Night Shyamalan. He has the potential to be a fantastic director. We've seen it before. He's directed some really good movies and some really bad movies. But he keeps writing his own screenplays and the scripts for his movies. I don't think he's the best at doing that. This movie does feel just kind of cobbled together and is only like loosely kind of attached to each other. Split feels completely detached from Unbreakable. I've reviewed both of those movies, go check them out. It feels detached from it and only really ties in with it loosely towards the end of the movie. And in watching Glass, it feels like Split was only made to kind of set up Glass. Like James McAvoy's character, the Horde, seems like he was just built up just to be the muscle man of Mr. Glass in Glass. And it seems like the Beast's motivation, which I talked about in Split, would just tie in so he would work with Mr. Glass. That's just my thoughts on it. And also M. Night Shyamalan reprises his cameo. Action, I find it hard to describe. I'm so used to watching superhero movies where everyone is like really super powered, like capable of throwing everything around like rag dolls, lifting extremely heavy things, throwing people all around having super abilities, shooting lightning bolts, and being able to fly. This tones it down a lot. These characters are enhanced. They're not on the same level as characters from DC and Marvel. So the action kind of feels, for lack of a better word, lame. When the Horde and David Dunn fight each other for the first time, they just kind of grab and push against each other and throw a table at each other, and that's pretty much it. And the final fight feels a bit anticlimactic and poorly paced. It's just them running around and pushing and throwing each other a little bit and just lifting things that a normal human can't really lift and that's the extent of the action. I think that was the point of the movie, not to have it too over the top and have it more grounded in reality, but just for someone who's used to that kind of, to more over the top kind of action, I found it a bit dull. Although M. Night Shyamalan can be a good director, sometimes he, I, I think he's an excellent cinematographer. Cinematographer? Is that the right word? Yep, that's the right word. I is good at English. But yeah, he, I think he's a really good cinematographer. He really knows how to frame a shot, how to shoot different scenes from the different angles, the lighting, how to make it set the tone of the scene and the movie. He is really good at that. I think if he actually teamed up with like a really good director and a really good screenwriter and he just took care of producing and being and shooting the film being the cinematographer it would make an excellent movie maybe they should make that into a trilogy a cinematographer a director and a writer team up to make the best movie ever and they each have their individual films is this a good sequel i think it is a good sequel i enjoyed the movie i didn't love it to bits but the audience seems 50 50. it's some people love it and some people hate it and there doesn't seem to be that much in between even though i think i just said i'm kind of in between things i enjoyed i really enjoyed seeing all these characters interact with each other and play off of each other i thought the acting was top notch and enjoyed everyone's performance almost and i really enjoyed how this movie was shot the things i didn't really enjoy is i thought it was probably a bit poorly directed and poorly written and i thought the action was kind of lame just a few things i disliked but it brought down the movie enough for me not to enjoy it as much. I am going to talk a little bit about spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, see the movie yet before you watch this spoiler part of the video. I just wanted to say that 
I, I knew the characters at the end were going to die. I knew all three of them were going to die at the end because I had it spoiled by me by watching somebody else's video. They didn't say it was a spoiler review. They didn't give a warning at all. They just went straight into it 10 seconds into the video and just said flat out that all three main characters die. And that ruined it for me. And I think that made the movie have a bit less impact on me because I just knew it was going to happen. Before I watched that review, I didn't really know those characters were going to die at all. And I think just that happening to me just took a bit of it away from me. <laughs> I unsubscribed from that person. <laughs> but anyway, those are just my thoughts on the movie. Don't let me decide whether you should go see this movie or not. These are just my thoughts. I would love for you to go watch it yourself and make up your own mind. If you have seen the movie, comment below and let me know what you thought about it. I would love to hear your thoughts about it. And I've already watched some of your reviews. And luckily, most of you didn't spoil the movie for me. So thank you for that. Thank you for watching me ramble on about a movie. Once again, guys and girls, I really do appreciate it. Thank you again. And I'll catch you next time. Although M. Night, Di M. Night Director. <coughs> <coughs> Cheers.